everybody welcome to today's video I'm going to be doing a day in my life working from home so today is actually Saturday but yes fun fact I am working today so <laughs> I thought it would be fun to bring you around if you do not know me my name is Kat I am an electrical engineer for the space industry and welcome to my channel please feel free to stick around feel free to subscribe and for all of my Spanish speakers I always include subtitles in Spanish, so click on this button to set those up. Para todos mis seguidores que hablan español, yo siempre incluyo subtítulos en español, entonces presionen este botón para aprenderlos. All right, so let's get going with today's video. Real quick, I just wanted to show you my outfit for today. Um, it is a long skirt and a turtleneck, very comfortable. So today I'm going to be working on some board design. That's pretty much what I'm going to be doing all day. I took a shower this morning, I got dressed. I really like to dress up and get ready for my day, even if I'm just going to be working at home. I find that it helps me stay productive and it also just helps me feel good for my day. I have my coffee. And first thing I need to do is open up this package. So, See what's inside. So, okay, this is awesome. I really want to show it to you guys. It is Emily, Emily Muggleton. Um, I will link her in the description. She sent me a copy of her coloring book. So this is a spacesuit coloring book. Let's take a look inside. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. So we have the coloring book and it has different types of spacesuits and just some different fun facts about them. Here in the back we can see the different spacesuits. It is so cute and it is in English and I also got one in Spanish, but I do believe she has a bunch of other languages and she's constantly working on getting some more languages out. So this is really, really cute. I'm so excited. Reading the card. Okay, so the book is available in English, Spanish, French, Chinese and Arabic is coming out soon. It's available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Walmart. Oh my gosh, they are the cutest. I'm so excited to try it out. Thank you, Emily. Okay, so let's talk about PCBs. What is a PCB? PCB stands for Printed Circuit Board, and it'll look something like this. So if we look closely, there we go. So if we look closely, we can see we have these different holes, which is where the parts go in and get soldered on. We have a large part here and you can see the lines, right? So what are those lines? Those lines are making electrical connection. So we're connecting from one point to another in order to create our circuit. But how do we get to this? Well, we start out with the schematic. On the schematic, we essentially define everything and we put everything that's going to be on the final board on paper. So we are going to say, okay, this is the part that I'm going to use. We have, for example, a resistor. I want this resistor to connect to this connector on this particular pin. So this leg of the resistor is gonna go to pin one on this connector and that signal line is going to be called whatever. That's where we do all of that stuff. And then from the schematic, we push it out onto our PCB design and we start to lay out exactly physically where we want it to be on the board. But by the time that you get to the PCB design section, your PCB software already knows what is supposed to be connected together because you already defined all of that. You already set all of the instructions up on the schematic. So on the schematic, we say what parts we want, what exact connections we want made. And then on the PCB, we say, where exactly is it going to be physically on the board? For example, that's how we can create something like this. This is a kit that I got on Amazon, by the way. It's really cute. I got it for Valentine's Day. And on the PCB is where we're able to create designs like this. So on the schematic, all we'll have is 
you know, and, and I see a certain amount of LEDs and some other different components. But now when we go to the PCB part, we can actually physically put it on the board and say, I want these LEDs to be in exactly this position and I want these LEDs to be in exactly this position and that's how we can create these different patterns and designs. In order to create your designs, there are two things that you are also going to need, which are the schematic symbol for all of the components and then your PCB footprint for that component as well. The schematic symbol will be something like this for a resistor where you just have the squiggly line that says, hey, this is a resistor. I'm going to put that on my schematic. And anytime I look at that and I see that symbol, I'm going to know that's a resistor. But now on the PCB side of things, you're not going to see a squiggly line where the resistor is going to go. I mean, you could draw it in there if you want. Instead, you are going to see the pattern, which was designed for this specific component in order for that part to be soldered on there. So some examples of that could be some little holes for your through hole components, um, or it could be some pads for your surface mount components. Those are just some examples and every part needs to have its own associated footprint. Now we must get to the not so fun part of the video, which is watching me work for a little bit. I know that it's not very exciting to look at, but this is called a work from home video. So we do got to do some work in. I was mainly working on my schematic design and usually I will listen to something. I can't really work in silence. So I'll listen to some reggaeton or I'll put on a podcast or an audiobook. Lately, I'm reading and listening to an audiobook of the book called Mythos by Stephen Fry. So that's been helping me stay productive lately. I also try to wear some type of glasses uh, like these blue light filter glasses here. Personally, I do find that they help me a lot, especially because I have to be sitting in front of the computer for so long sometimes when I'm working on these boards. So they are very, very useful for me and I try to keep up with that as much as I can. Thankfully, I've been pretty focused today. I had really good rest. I had a really good breakfast and I just had lunch. Sorry if you can hear my dog in the back. Um, but now I'm just taking a really quick break to do my nails. I'm using this Sally Hansen nail polish. And yeah, I'm just gonna do my nails and then keep working. Just gonna let that dry for a couple more minutes and then get back to work. You need to have patience for this type of stuff, especially because the softwares tend to be pretty buggy. Um, so you have to save constantly. Sometimes it'll crash randomly. You have to restart your computer a couple times a day to make sure that everything is is okay. So yeah, it's it's something that definitely requires patience, which I normally actually don't have. So. That's how you know. I chose the right field. <laughs> okay, so I am done working for today. It really wasn't too exciting. Just me at the computer pretty much <laughs> all day. But I love doing board design. Board design is super fun to me. So I really do have the patience to do it. Um, now I have another unboxing. This is from Adafruit. So I ordered this Adafruit Dot Star Matrix. It is eight by eight. It is apparently very, very sensitive, so I'm kind of scared to open it. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And I want to use this for a project that I have brewing. My camera literally almost fell. I caught it in the air. Anyway, next I have this battery holder and this DC to DC converter. So these are all for a project that I have. You will find out soon enough what all of this is about. Um, okay, so now I'm going to put this away and just clean up my workstation a little bit, clean up the room, clean up the house and... 
relax after that next on my list for today i wasn't really planning on it but i kind of just felt like it i'm gonna film a tiktok right now and this is where i usually film it so let's do it hi watch me film a tiktok I think that the funniest part about this whole section now that I'm editing is that I didn't even like this TikTok so I ended up deleting it and posting a totally different one. So <laughs> that's how it goes. Okay, so now I'm just going to go rest, relax. My day's over pretty much. Thank you so much for tagging along.